Hi friend, my today's topic is uh, Windows Azure website development. So I will show you how you can create a SP.NET website and you, how you can deploy that website on Windows Azure. So first I need to open Visual Studio. Uh, I need to open Azure in administrator mode because uh, when we try to run that uh, website locally, at that time uh, Visual Studio need to run Windows Azure simulator on your machine for that it needs uh, administrator permission so to create a website and click file project and then windows view services i need to create a asp.net web role uh, we can rename it central web three I can select different kind of template. Uh, I can create Facebook uh, website. I can create a web phone. I can create NBC. Click on the create project button. Meanwhile, you can create a simple website in Windows 0 also. So click on compute where then click on create to create. You can also create the uh, you can choose custom create in that you can specify database name and all. So right now I am choosing uh, this is great. I can give some name here. It will create in two seconds. So it is created. I can visit this website right now. You can see this is the website. I go to Google Studio. Here is my website. Uh, you can see my master navigation page. Here uh, I just run this application locally. So this time it's try to hook uh, Windows uh, Windows Azure uh, simulator. Uh, you can see it is uh, starting my Windows Azure Storage Simulator to run this uh, application. Now it is uh, starting Compute Emulator. Take some time um, because it is also trying to start emulator. After first, uh, it will run second time, it will be very fast. So you can see our website here. Okay, I can I do some changes in that so it will be easy to see if when I will deploy this application to the cloud. So I can see I can change my show application. So uh, I again run the same application. Uh, my name is here now. Okay, then uh, right now. Now uh, I want to deploy this website to Windows Zero. So I have already created a website here. So I click on this uh, website uh, link. I need to go to dashboard, and here I can download my published profile. my publish profile. I need to publish this website website to Azure so I just need to click on sample web three button and I need to, need to click on publish button. Here you can import the downloaded profile.
this, can, this file contains all the information about your Windows, Windows Azure account. So you can see uh, so many data is already filled. It is server name, site name, username and password. It is uh, encrypted. You can validate the connection. And now you just need to click on publish. If you have some database connection at Azure uh, Cloud, that also come in this uh, config uh, publish re publish uh, report file. So that is also configured with your website when you are trying to publish it to cloud. So it is trying to deploy your website to cloud. It would take sometime uh, for a normal website it takes around 2 3 minutes one yes so publishing is done now your uh, website is deployed at this your uh, azure website so you can access your website now with this url So if now I click on this uh, send for web dot uh, you can see my website is now deployed to the uh, Azure. So it is very uh, pretty simple. You just need to create a website. Windows Azure website, ASP.NET ASP website in uh, Visual Studio and then you need to create a website on Windows Azure platform and you need to download the publish, uh, publisher file from the Azure to your local machine and then you need to configure using the uh, de uh, web deploy option of the Visual Studio with your Visual Studio website and just you need to click on publish and that website will be published to the cloud. So it is very, very simple try yourself and uh, please contact me if you, feel, if you uh, face any issue. Thank you very much.